If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new songs in the description. All right, we are back talking about Drake's Scary Hours 3 EP. We kind of dialed down the coverage on this one and also the theories or what people thought about this thing back when her loss got announced because that kind of, you know, put a lot, a lot of time gap in between that project and the next one because he likely wasn't going to drop Scary Hours 3 right after her loss. For some time, we thought that the rollout for her loss was the rollout for Scary Hours 3, just kind of judging off of a lot of the, the snippets we got or a little bit of the hints we got. I re really recommend you go check out the playlist that I made on Scary Hours 3. It kind of gives a good recap over everything that's been happening and also a couple of theories that fans had. But today we're going to look at what has changed since then and what the possible release date for Scary Hours 3 might actually be. So let's jump straight into this. So remember back when Honesty Nevermind dropped and he did this Sirius XM podcast where the table for one thing where he basically confirmed that scary hours 3 was going to be on the way you know i referenced that a lot i just want to you know give, get everybody up to date in this video um and he said that he got another scary hours on the way it wasn't for right then in june but it was going to come sooner than we think and well now it's what five six months later I'm, you know, I got the feeling that sooner than you might think it has actually arrived already. Now, I'm not sure if he was already thinking about the, the Her Loss project back then. He likely was. I, I don't think that they just recorded it in the meantime over the summer. I think that the two of them had it in plan for quite some time before Honestly Nevermind dropped. You don't just do a tape like that just like that. He was definitely also working on Scary Hours 3 during that time and he was planning to drop it. I mean, the way that it sounded, the way that Drake said it, it sounded like he was still going to drop it in 20. 2022. I don't think that's what most people think right now, that he's still going to drop it this year, but there are actually some hints that he might actually do that. First of all, to put it into perspective, there's the, you know, theories out there on what the release schedule will be, but one that we kind of like all generally agreed on is that her loss was definitely also a dub for 21 Savage because if you do a if you do a tape with Drake, your your numbers are going to go crazy. You can also see that on his monthly listeners, they went from like 20 mil to now 50 mil because everybody's like tuning into the Drake record and let's be real the, the the record her loss was more like a Drake album with a lot of 21 features than really a collaborative tape um, but th that aside there's kind of this theory that this thing is like the the, the the base for everything the her loss record and Drake from there on will drop Scary Hours 3 and after that the new big album the same goes for 21 Savage after her loss he will drop um, he will be featured a lot likely on Metro Boomin's uh, Heroes vs. Villains that is dropping actually next Friday on December 2nd uh, that he just also revealed the cover art for if you want to you know get up to date with that I really recommend you go watch that video I dropped a couple of days ago on it but he's dropping December 2nd 21 will likely be featured a lot on there just because the two have a very close relationship. He was also featured a lot on the first one, not all heroes wear capes. And then you can use the boost that he got from both of those, so her loss and heroes versus villains, to then drop his long-awaited, now then five years um, since he last dropped in 2023, his new studio album. But the same goes for Drake. Both of them use this as their starting point and then are going to drop a, another supportive project, Heroes vs. Villains and Scary Hours 3 and after that gonna drop their solo big albums. Because let's be real, a lot of Drake fans want him to come back with something solo that can make up for what CLB and Honestly Nevermind weren't. Now, I know a lot of people, me myself included, are very happy with her loss. We really are, but we also, we're craving for some solo Drake. Come on now, we, you can't deny that. We want some solo Drake. Well, then another interesting development, and this is what I wanted to actually get into, is this show that he has at the Apollo Theater in New York, legendary venue, that I also covered when it got announced, I think it was early... October when this first got announced and back then it was announced for November 11th which is now as we know exactly a week after the her loss release well back then we still thought that her loss was going to drop October 28th so uh, it, it would have been two weeks after the release well it now got moved because um, I don't know what exactly messed up the schedule. You know, as I said, it still would have been after the release, so he could have played songs on there from her loss. So I'm really not sure what moved this thing now, 
but maybe it was also, you know, kind of affected by Takeoff's death, which, um, you know, they also thought about moving the album, uh, but then decided not to. They were still going to drop November 4th. But I'm really not sure what exactly, you know, led to the, to the moving of this date. But now when you head over to the official website for this, you can see that this show is now taking place on December 6th and 7th. And they also wrote to it, history will repeat itself. The previously scheduled Drake at the Apollo show on November 11th is now moving and we are adding a second date. These historic shows will now be held on December 6th and 7th. This gives more of his fans a chance to experience the special moment. And I mean, this is, I don't know in what way this move makes sense, because I mean, the whole, the whole unique selling point of this thing was that it was so limited, only 1500 people, only 1500 people could get tickets for this. So they were not going to do profit with this a whole lot. Now adding a second date for another 1500 people likely doesn't increase the profit margin that much. So I don't know why they're doing this. The, the, the whole, the whole thing about this event was that it was so limited. Why are you adding a second? date you usually add a second date because you know you kind of want everybody that couldn't get to the first date to then be able to get one for the second date but you can't you can't get tickets to either of those it's already the I mean the your application process to get one of these is already closed so there's no way that people can get them so I don't know why they added a second date that was kind of a side rant but I wanted to say is December 6th and 7th are if I'm not mistaken and now I had to look it up but they're a Tuesday and Wednesday so just from a very basic theory making standpoint there's a possibility that something could drop on that Friday which would be the 9th um, now we got to take this back to when it was originally supposed to happen which was November 11th that would have been a Friday so I don't know if he was even planning on releasing something with this event but we have another possibility at least coming up in the near future or he has a chance to announce something at this Apollo event that doesn't mean that he's gonna do it maybe we'll get some sort of you know hint as to what is coming that is kind of what I'm hoping for. I don't think he will actually drop something that week. I don't think that we're getting another Drake EP or mixtape or whatever. Yet, you know, this this year still, I just don't think that's what he wants to do. Also, December, you know, a lot of the Christmas music has taken up the charts and Drake cares about the charts. Otherwise, he wouldn't have moved, you know, the tape, the, the her lost tape from October 28th to November 4th because that was because of Taylor Swift. Um, so, you know, I'm not sure if it's still going to drop this year, but at least we have the chance that something is now coming and we, we can once again kind of look forward to this date that he's performing at the Apollo and maybe think that something's going to come that day. So that's kind of what's up with Scary Hours 3. I hope that this video could get everybody up to date and could, you know, give you another idea that this thing is still dropping and we can now start talking about it again after her loss has been out for a couple of weeks now. Um, but let me know what you think about this. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Um, you know, what's your theory on this? All your thoughts on this, please let me know in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my discord in the description. Until the next one, we'll have an incredible day and y'all take care.